Hey, what's up, guys? I have an exciting new video for you guys today, and I have been waiting for this since the G Flex 2 was announced. And yes, the G3 was updated to Lollipop on Verizon. Now, I don't know if this is official software because I don't run official software on my phones, but we do have a custom ROM, and that is from Jasmine. And you guys have seen me do a few videos on that ROM before. But now, we are on Android 5.1. Now, if you don't know how to use ADB or, you know, go and twerp and use the command prompt, you won't be able to install this that easily. But, once you do install it, once you do, like, all the commands, and then you install the 5.11 update, or 5.0.11 update, and it removes all the Verizon bloat, so you don't have to worry about anything like that. It is all just Google and you know LG's apps yes their icons still look ugly and not that much has changed just I'm pretty disappointed in um for some reason I could not boot into recovery like with the hardware buttons like the volume down and power then you see the logo and you press volume up and power I don't know if that, that has anything to do with this ROM but it happened after I installed it because I was just trying to install the update but you do have all of LG's apps. You have the, the quick remote. You have, you know, you can customize the little navigation buttons. They tried to, you know, do it, but it's not the same. You can edit these. You can choose what you want. You do have the Q slide apps, mobile hotspot. I can't use it because, you know, Verizon SIM card and they don't like T Mobile. But, you know, it's. It, they tried. Everything still works. The multi window is, you know, it actually looks like lollipop. You can still do the dual window, which I'd love. So if we want to open up Chrome, then YouTube. Everybody opens up Chrome and YouTube. Let's let's do Chrome and a camera, because you know, why not, right? So if you want to take pictures of, say, a random stranger going by while looking at random strangers on the internet. Oh god, what's this turning into? But you can, so if you really wanted to do that's just creepy, I'm sorry. Um I was on high on Android.com. No, that's not a drug site or anything like that. But I did need the Android 5.1 G apps for my Nexus 6, so I had to do that. But this is a stock ROM. Everything is stock LG as you would expect. Not that much has changed in Lollipop, sadly. You do have the stock LG camera, which a lot of people didn't want to go to AOSP just for, you know, Lollipop. Mainly because of the camera, you didn't have the dual window, and stock is still, it's, it's slow. It, it lags, it's not that great. But it is more stable and it's better on battery than an AOSP ROM, at least in my testing. But since I have that zero limit extended battery, like 9,000 milliamp hours, I really didn't care about battery life because no matter what, I would still make it through two days. And I've been using Illusion for like two and a half months or even longer than that. I've been using it since it first came out. But yeah, so everything is stock. I'm, I don't really want to go into anything, like, if you've seen stock on LG, this is pretty much it. Um, see, you got the tools, you got the Google Apps, and one thing I hate is that if you go view apps by and you hit name, it doesn't take those out of the folder, and then you can't take those apps out of the folder unless you go to user customize, and then you try to edit it, but, of course, I'm just going to install the Google Now Launcher, Nova Launcher Prime that I paid for, and I'm just going to go with that, but... Um, Expose does now support Lollipop, so I'm going to install that for all the added tweaks and stuff like that. So if you guys want to see a video on that, um, I'll go ahead and, you know, try to get that up there. But if you want to see anything about stock on the LG G3, like stock Lollipop, leave a comment below because I don't really know what to put in this video. But I really wanted to let you guys know that it's it's out, so you can go ahead and download it. I will leave a link below in the description. You have to know how to use a command prompt, like to install this. You got you have to extract the ROM. You got to type in a few lines of code, and then it will start to install. It does take like five to six minutes for me. It it took 
it won't like nothing will be on the screen it'll be like it froze leave it don't mess with it just leave it let it install and then once you reboot you want to go back into recovery and install the update which takes care of all the Verizon bloatware see oops you do still have the setup wizard and the voicemail which a lot of people use the Verizon voicemail so that's why they left it there and as for the setup wizard like that's kind of every phone has that I guess I don't know but yeah um if you guys want to see anything like I said leave, leave a comment below this is rooted this is stock lollipop and it has all the lollipop goodness so yeah I'll see you guys in the next video